So I just had to do a follow-up video given what came out yesterday after I published my video on the Yarra City Council's decision to stop holding citizenship ceremonies on Australia Day and get behind the campaign to change the date for Australia Day. Now remember, Yarra Council claimed that in the past 12 months there had been a groundswell of community support for change from both Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal people across the country. And the council commissioned an independent survey of nearly 300 non-Indigenous people which showed strong support for change. So how did Yarra Council find such a strong groundswell of support? Andrew Bolt has the answer. Early this year, a McNair poll found just 15% of Australians wanted Australia Day shifted. In fact, nearly half of Aboriginal Australians didn't want it moved either, or they didn't care. So, how did Yarra Council's hipster revolutionaries get around that little problem? Well, easy done. They tricked up their own survey. A survey of hand-picked mates and activists. I'm serious. It held an online survey, a poll, of members of Aboriginal activist organisations and also of, quote, individual community members with whom council officers have existing relationships. Well, since the council is run by four Greens two Labor members, two independents and a Socialist Alliance extremist, you can guess which Aborigines this council has relationships with. They won't be Conservatives, you can believe me. And many, in fact, most even, did not even live in Yarra. Yet, despite all this shameless rigging, the council still got only 88 responses from Aborigines around Victoria, of whom just 72 wanted Australia Day moved. True, the Council also held a street survey, but it asked just 281, 281 of its 80,000 residents. And who exactly did it choose to ask? We don't know. More friends? And even then... Fewer than half, 46% to be precise, those people polled, said, sure, move Australia Day. <laughs> and those are the rubbish polls, the rig polls that the council used to justify moving our national day. What a bunch of morons. And if you want to take a look at the survey for yourself, check out the link below. Now have a listen to this hysterical false equivalence. Here is the co-chair of the Council's Indigenous Advisory Group, Annette Chiberis, today. Would you ask the Jewish people to celebrate Hitler's birthday? Is it an equivalent in your mind? Yes, what happened to my people is equivalent. Look, swearing in your allegiance is one thing, but swearing it in on the Holocaust, is that a good thing? Well, what can you say to that except, wow... Now, the good news is that Yarra Council has been officially stripped of citizenship ceremony powers after its Australia Day changes. Yarra City Council in Melbourne has been stripped of the power to hold citizenship ceremonies by the federal government because it voted unanimously to stop referring to 26 January as Australia Day and to stop holding a citizenship ceremony on that day. Alex Hawke, the Assistant Immigration Minister, announced the decision on Wednesday afternoon after the Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull declared in Parliament that the Council's vote was utterly out of step with Australian values. And here is Alex Hawke talking about that decision on the Bolt Report. Well, we have seen a bit of a political movement on this and, and they've attempted to use citizenship in the process. And what the federal government has done today is say to Yarra Council, we're absolutely going to take the right to conduct citizenship ceremonies off you if you conduct political campaigns with Australian citizenship. So we've seen it in Fremantle, we saw it in Hobart, we saw it in Darabin. And Andrew, I don't think you'd be surprised to know that the commonality between those councils was that they are Greens majority councils. Um, and uh, that is really a small number out of the 544 Australian councils. Uh, and I've got to say the vast majority of councils, the vast majority of councillors, the vast majority of Australians 
have no problem with 26 January Australia Day. Uh, they support citizenship ceremonies being held on that day. And it's been a very political campaign that we've seen waged against citizenship ceremonies being held on Australia Day. So how does the citizenship thing work then? So if you're an immigrant and you're in Yarra City Council, you want to become an Australian citizen on Australia Day, you just go to another council? Yeah, we'll allocate them to another council. I've got to say, I've asked the department, we will hold a citizenship ceremony in, in uh, Yarra. Uh, we'll hold it on 26 January as normal. And, you know, Andrew, you, you wouldn't be surprised to know as well that the outrage industry has just discovered this problem this year. We've looked back in the records. As far back as we can see on Yarra Council, there's been a citizenship ceremony on Australia Day. Uh, we, we don't know when there hasn't been one. So they've just discovered that this year they want to cancel it. Uh, it, it. It further exposes, I think, the real agenda here, that they're just trying to create an outrage about this issue. And we're not going to allow it from the federal government's perspective. Um, it's our responsibility, citizenship and the code, and councils have to abide by the rules that they agreed to, which is make those citizenship ceremonies non-political, bipartisan, secular, and a positive, supportive experience for our new citizens. Now, more than a few people commented yesterday that they don't particularly care what date Australia Day is held on. And I can understand that point of view. But I think there's a bigger issue here. What if we did change the date? Do you think the activists would be happy? Andrew Bolt sums up this point very nicely. See, I don't believe that the activists and the Greens and the Socialists, I don't believe it when they say they just want another date to celebrate Australia Day. I don't think they'd celebrate modern Australia on any day of the week. And remember, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, or even consider supporting the channel via PayPal or Patreon. I'll see you next time.